Hello, this is Ryan, the product review guru here, and today we're going to be looking at how to install WordPress using a one-click installation with cPanel. Now cPanel is one of the most popular control panels for web hosting. What web hosting is, is pretty much a hard drive on a server that's off in La La Land that hosts all of your files for your website and you use the cPanel control panel to edit these files and do other various changes to your website. If you're looking for some recommendations for hosting please visit product-review-guru.com it's listed at the bottom of this video and I have some recommendations for some great host hosting companies. So what we're going to do first, we're going to log into cPanel, type in my username and my password, and I'm going to go ahead and click login. And this is what my cPanel looks like. Uh, 10 hosting, skinned cPanel this way. A skin is just how cPanel appears. Yours is probably going to look a little different, but the icons will be more or less the same. There may be some you don't see here, and I'll have some ones that you won't have but generally they'll all be the same and I can surely guarantee you that you'll have something under software and services called Fantastico Deluxe and this is what we use to install WordPress so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give this a single left click and this loads up to the Macintosh type theme that's what Fantastico is using and today we're installing blog software called WordPress which is on the left hand navigation we're going to go ahead and single left click that and it just gives a short description of the application. It's blogging software, focusing on easy use. If you ever need help, there's a link here to the WordPress support forum. You can also Google it if you want to get back to the WordPress support forum. And if you take note, version 2.7.1 is the version that is going to be installed when you click this new installation button. And current installations, there are none, meaning there are no WordPress installations on my domain on with this hosting. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to start this installation. Left click new installation. This will load up. Install on domain. This is the domain that I have tied to this hosting account. Install on directory. If you leave this blank, it'll go to your top level domain. Your top level domain is just http colon slash slash your domain name. So yourdomain.com. That will go right to your WordPress blog. If you want to go to something else, say yourdomain.com slash WordPress, you would type in WordPress here. Now, take note that you don't put a preceding forward slash here because that is just looking for a name. So you don't need the slash. Another thing to, know, to notice, on some hosting, this WordPress, all lowercase, is different than this WordPress with a capital W and capital P. So I think it's always best to stick with all lowercase and you're safe no matter what. We're going to install WordPress on our top level domain. If you are installing into a directory, one other quick note is the directory should not exist because Fantastico will automatically create the directory. Admin access data. This is the username and password you're going to use to log into the WordPress control panel. I highly suggest using something more strong than I'm going to use, which is user and pass. Because the stronger it is, the less chance somebody could hack into your WordPress control panel and pretty much you'll be at their mercy if they have control of your WordPress. So pick something much stronger than this. Admin nickname. This is something that will be used for the database username creation not that big of a deal. Um, I would just pick something that has some numbers in it with a username so you don't run into an error because usually it can only be one username. So admin email address. If you have an email address set up for your domain already and it's filled in and you can get access to that, great. If not, type something else in because any emails that are related to your WordPress will be emailed to this email address. Do not worry too much at this time if you don't have something to put in there or you're going to create an email address because you can always change this in the WordPress control panel. Site name, this is what's going to appear at the top of your, of your WordPress, WordPress blog and we're just going to call this one click WordPress. Description, this is what's going to appear directly under your title and we're just going to type this is a WordPress blog. And then after we finish step one, we are going to click the install WordPress button.
and you'll be taking a step two of three and the MySQL database and MySQL user necrozon underscore wrdp1 will be created and used for its installation. If you don't know what this is, don't really worry about it. However, just take note that databases are used by WordPress to store your posts and your settings. It m is a very good idea to maybe copy this, paste it into Notepad, save that file somewhere safe. You'll probably never need to use it, but in case you need to do something with your database, you have a crash, or you need to back it up manually, it's good to have this username. It'll save you a step later. And it says you chose to install into the main directory of the domain, the top level, which is http colon slash slash and my domain name, reviewguru.x10hosting.com. And to access it, you'll see http colon slash slash reviewguru.x10hosting.com. That is the top level of my, my domain, and it'll take me right to my WordPress blog. And when you're done with that, click finish to finish your installation. That was pretty easy step two. Step three. It just says that a couple files were configured. Um, that means it was successful. And please note that they're only auto installing and configuring the software of WordPress, but they don't support it. So don't go to Fantastico if you have any problems. And remember the username we created, user and pass. Well, this is saying that the username and password to enter the WordPress admin area or the control panel has been created with the username user and the password pass. Now the full URL to get to the admin area is whatever you installed WordPress to. So this is my top level. If you installed it to WordPress directory, you would put slash WordPress slash WP dash admin. You add WP dash admin to the end of wherever you installed WordPress to get to the control panel. If this is confusing, don't worry. Just click it and bookmark it. So now that we have finished that, there's one big red item here saying that not to delete the Fantastico under filelist.txt from the install directory, which is the top level domain, because it's used for uninstalling the application if you ever need to do so. If you want to email the details of your installation, type in your email address and then click send email. I'm not going to do this because, hey, I can see it's successful already. So we're just going to click left click and go back to WordPress overview. Now, as you can see, current installations. The slash means it's at the top level of our, of our domain, the main directory. It installed version 2.7.1, and we can now visit our site. Now, you're going to see that this popped up right away. On some hosts, you're sharing your hosting server with a bunch of other people. So you have to stand in line for your WordPress installation to complete. If some people submitted things for the server to do before you, it'll complete those before it gets to yours. So if you don't see it right away, don't worry. Just click the refresh button until you see it. Another thing that you do want to check, I'm going to go back to our cPanel control panel. If you keep refreshing it, you've waited an ample amount of time and you don't see your WordPress displaying, go under files, go to the file manager, home directory, click go, this will load up. This is how you access the file. These are all the files for your website. You left click public HTML. That'll load up for you. And index.php is what WordPress uses. However, if there's an index.html file, usually the index.html file is a file that appears when you just set up your hosting, it's just a default file saying, hey, your hosting is set up. That will take precedence in display before the index.php. So if you have an index.html file, you need to select it like this, index.html, click delete. It'll say, are you sure you wish to delete? You delete the file, and then you should only see one index file, and it should be index.php. So once we have that, we're good to go. And then if you've waited an ample amount of time, you'll be set up. Now here's the one click WordPress site name that we put and the description and that's pretty much how you install WordPress. So I hope you have a nice and easy time installing WordPress using cPanel. This is Ryan the review guru from product-review-guru.com signing out. This is your helping hand the guru. Have a great day.